Hello, Twin Flames, and welcome to this reading. So we're going to talk about the stag, what the stag represents, the different types of stags that you see, and what this means for your journey. So thank you for being here. And if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family, because we're here for you every day. So the stag is the symbol of the divine masculine. It's the symbol of the way the divine masculine transforms to be with you. And it's also the promise of your union. Now, when you start seeing the stag, it's power. It's the masculine communicating with you from a higher realm that they intend to change, that they are showing you their promise, the promise of the relationship that they want to be able to give to you with stability and strength and abundance and everything that you want. It's their way of saying to you what you want, I want too. And when we see the white stack, that's the symbol of mission. The way that you will be when you're in union, that you guys have a mission together to help and heal the world, to raise the vibration of humanity, to raise awareness and consciousness of why we have come. So you have a mission separately, but also together. And that's the start of things to come. Somebody actually commented that they'd seen a red stack. And red is about divine timing. It's about fire and passion and action. And I feel if you start seeing stags of any colour from this moment on with this full moon as I record this in real time, it's going to be a personal message for you. And they've shown me in my intuition and in my mind's eye, green stags. Green stags are connected with healing and the power of change, the heart opening. So what the angels want you to do is whenever you see a stag from this moment on, really sit with the vibration of it. What is it showing you? You know, if you see a dead stag, it's a symbol of rebirth, resurrection, healing. You know, if you see a stag head, it's a symbol of brain power and mind power and change. So the angels are asking you to intuitively tap in from this point on what the stag is saying to you, what the energy is or the message is from your twin. And if you can't pick it up, if you can't, you know, work it out, if you're not sure, ask the angels to clearly give you signs that you clearly understand. Be very clear about it because it will give you a personal message. So yes, the stag is a collective message of the promise of union and the masculine transformation, and the mission ahead, but you're also going to be receiving now from the signs you see, and the way the stag is shown to you, what it means for your personal journey, and it's very important that we take that in, and try to understand, so what I want to do, it's the new, well it's the full moon today, but we're moving towards the new moon, and that's power, so between now and the new moon, I feel you're going to be shown lots of stacks and lots of signs about your journey. So we're going to use the Moonology Manifesting Cards. This is a brand new deck I've received. We're going to use this deck to tap in with the energy. So thank you, angels. What can you tell us, please, about the stag? Okay, what do we need to know, please, from this point on about the stag, the energy of the stag? What do we need to know? Thank you, angels. There we go. What do we need to know about the stag from the divine feminine perspective? What do we need to know about the stag from the feminine perspective? I'm going to wait until I get a clear card. There we go. And from the masculine perspective. What do we need to know about the stag from the masculine perspective? Thank you, angels. There we go. What do we need to know about the, the kind of brown stag? You know, the normal stag that we see in everyday stag. You know, when we see the stag, we're like, wow, what does that mean? What are we being shown, please, with the energy of the stag? What are we being shown right now? Thank you. What about the white stag? Okay, have you seen the white stag? What do we need to know about that right now? Thank you, angel. And any other stag, okay, any other stag, any other colour, any other coloured stag, maybe you've seen red, green, purple. Thank you, angels. And stags that may be kind of dead or a stag head or anything like that anything unusual or anything that that might bring in fear thank you so let's see what we need to know so the energy of the stag that we've got wow we've got relax 
How powerful is that? So when you're shown the image of the stag, it's a sign from the universe and from your masculine to relax, to breathe, to not stress out, to not go in fear. So you may see the stag when you need it the most. You know, if you're in any anxiety over the connection, if they're blocking you, ghosting you, ignoring you, if they're with a karmic partner, if you're not sure what the future holds, you're shown the stag to say to you, relax, breathe, trust the journey. This is also about yin and yang energy. And this is the new moon in Cancer. In Cancer, I'm a Cancer, so I can connect with the energy. You know, Cancer is a very emotional sign. So I feel when you're feeling emotional, you get shown the stag to remind you to trust the journey, to relax and breathe, maybe to meditate or to breathe in the air or go in nature. So it centers you and calms you down. Very powerful. From the feminine perspective, the stag is saying to you, attune to the divine. And this is new moon in Pisces. And again, Pisces, water energy, emotion. So when we see the, the stag from the feminine point of view, and you're feeling a bit emotional, and you're being asked to relax, you're being asked to attune to the divine. Because when you connect with heaven, when you connect with source, when you connect with who you truly are, you do relax about it. And you trust the journey and you understand there is a new beginning ahead. And intuitively, they're showing me in this the number 44. So you may also see the number 44 or 444, which is a symbol of angel protection. And it's asking you to trust. And they're showing me the symbol there is H for heaven. It's about when you connect with heaven. So when you see the stag divine feminine, not only is it asking you to relax about your journey, but it's asking you to attune with the divine, to connect with your divine masculine in other ways, through telepathy, on the 5D, through meditation, in dreams, to feel the love, to feel the power of the connection. And from the masculine point of view, we've got take a breather. So the stag is also saying to you, I need a minute. I need a moment to process my feelings and work this out. I need a breather so I can get my energy back and become who I was born to be. Because the stag is also the symbol of masculine transformation. So he's asking you for time. You know, when he's showing you the stag, he's saying, please trust me to find my way. Thank you for loving me and thank you for giving me time. Thank you for surrendering. Thank you for letting go. And that's what she's doing here. She's letting go. You know, she's coming out of the water. So if you've been through any pain, you're coming out the other side. And the masculine is saying, clear your mind. So he's also saying to you, I need to clear my mind. And this is a last quarter moon in Gemini. So it's like he's saying to you, this is the last quarter. This is, you know, the final stretch. We're nearly there. You know, he's saying to you, I just need to clear my mind. So I feel from the masculine point of view, when you're being shown the stag, he's reminding you that if he needs a bit of space or time, it's for your highest good. And it's so he can transform into who he's meant to be. So we've got two last quarter cards there because it's like he's saying, this is the final stretch. This is the last quarter. We're nearly there. We're nearly in union. Trust me to find my way. So when you're seeing a normal stag, an everyday stag, it's saying to you, step up and lead. So you're being reminded by the stag that you are a leader, that your masculine is stepping up and becoming a leader in their life, making changes, transforming to be with you, and that you are a mirror, and that you are a muse and an inspiration and a guiding light. So feminine is saying to you, step up and lead, lead the way, you know, follow the light, be you. Be authentic. Do what you're being guided to do. And this is what we do. You know, divine feminines make changes. Divine feminines are awake and aware. Divine feminines are in their power. And that really does help the masculine to lead to, to find their way to follow your lead. If you've seen a white stag, we've got go for it. Go for it. Aries, fire energy. So when you see the white stag, you know that you're going to go for it. You're going to go for your mission, your union. Great things are coming in. So the white stag is also a symbol of action. If you've seen any other coloured stag, red, green, yellow, white, well, not white, but yeah, white as well, any other colour, it means open up to change. 
And I really feel this today. So, you know, that was a real powerful message coming through in the comment section about that red stag because it's saying open up to change. Open up to change. So again, remember when you're seeing any other stag or any stag whatsoever right now, ask yourself the question, what are you showing to me? What do you want me to know about the next steps of our journey? And the angels are asking you to be open to change. And this is the new moon in Aquarius. So this is about enlightenment and power. So what I'm feeling is when you see a stag of any colour, you know, any unusual colour especially, it's a sign for you to be open to change, to be ready because things are happening now. And if you see any either dead stags or stag heads or anything a bit strange, it's saying breathe through the tension because automatically if we see a dead stack or we see something nasty happening we go into panic mode and we think we're pre you know we're having a preview of something which really how the universe helps us to release fear to manifest our dreams and this is the full moon in scorpio and we're moving into scorpio energy so the angels are saying to you breathe breathe through the tension breathe through the fear breathe through any pain and that's why we've got relax relax and breathe trust the journey and they show me this here even though that's a scorpion there like a swan okay then intuitively they show me it's showing me a swan so the straight when it slows down it happens to move things forward okay, i don't want to smash this stack so you know this is about movement and change breakthroughs breaking through the tension which is about communication and clearing the air and the Scorpio energy is bringing in confidence, strength, passion, desire, fire, movement. So the full moon is showing this to you. So when you're seeing the stags, it's a huge sign to trust the journey, to breathe, to believe, to have faith, to understand that many blessings are on the way and to tune in and tap into the divine. And it's your masculine's way of saying to you, trust me to find my way. I'm doing what I need to do, but I am transforming and I am learning, and I am growing up, but I will make it for you. I hope this helps. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.